Hi folks, I'm finally Dr. Jeff Gavarda, and long last I'm proud to announce that I've successfully defended my doctoral dissertation and should have official word of being awarded my PhD degree in financial and retirement planning, not botany, by the time you read this. My oldest son Dylan, uh, now uh, 13 and about to make Life Scout by the way, first uh, last notch before Eagle, accompanied me to Philadelphia and watched as I presented and then defended my PhD thesis and dissertation in a lecture hall attended by many of the American College of Financial Services professors and many more observing online. While dozens of students have been admitted to this program since 2013, I am one of the very first two who, within a day of each other, congratulations to you Dr. Russ, have earned doctor status. Russ was in the first, uh, first PhD cohort and I was in the second. My research broke new ground on advisor ethics and malpractice and found that FINRA advisors in Florida who have at least one of the designations, CFP, CHFC, or CFA, exhibited lower rates of malpractice, but that those with conflicts of interest, such as being licensed as both stockbrokers and fiduciary investment advisors, or having commission insurance licenses, showed much higher rates of malpractice. The big surprise was that male advisors had far worse malpractice records than females, about three times worse, and this was the biggest single factor in my data, by the way. I next plan to expand the research nationally and to study if there are differences between the designations, as was hinted at in my study. For instance, malpractice seemed to go down a lot for CFAs, but there weren't many CFAs, so the statistical uh, sample was uh, kind of sketchy, but not much at all for CFPs. There was not much of a suppression effect there. We're continuing to study that. I'm also conducting research in what I call senior financial literacy, uh, which helps clients to avoid wealth dangers such as uh, becoming more worrisome later in life. This research also breaks new ground. I thank those of you who have begun to help this research by taking the quiz instrument that we emailed out. And again, senior financial literacy differ from general financial literacy like uh, having the right interest rate and, and controlling uh, risks and so forth, focuses just on items and concepts that are particularly important near retirement and in retirement to protect wealth and protect inheritances for kids, for probate, guardianships, that sort of thing. Anyway, thanks so much for helping. I'm so excited to be able to share this with you. And again, the beaming Dr. Jeff Camarda. Thanks for watching. See you next time.